hit hold the mine. Explain the suggestion. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just... old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. I'm afraid I can't spare the workers. We're strapped for bodies as it is. And there is a small element of personal danger. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. It's our problem, not yours, but I'm asking for your help. If those workers don't come back, Edgewater is going to collapse. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That reason was me. I ask too much and push too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant, a sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I mean, in case you want a guide. 
I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Are you sure? I imagine Miss Holcomb will make a reliable companion. She knows her way around the Vale. Oh, sure. I mean, you got your own business and all, so I'm, I'm sure you... Sorry. I'll just be in my garage fixing stuff. Like I do. You may find Miss Holcomb at her garage once she and I are done talking. I want you to know I appreciate what you're doing for us, even if you are a stranger. Best of luck to you. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threads right now. Rations yet? Yep. Two whole cans of salt tuna. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Oh, what the bomb? Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. I've been feeling pretty low these days. At least you got your help.
We don't want any trouble. 
I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Well, look at you, buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Hale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Appreciate it. Honest. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago. But I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. My goodness. Aren't you just charming? Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. You're doing this for Reed? Why? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. A hero to the people who matter. To us. To the ones who come around. To the ones you save. Reed will never understand. He has been too long inebriated on the wine of corporate culture. All he sees is productivity, output, profits.
Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. I trust you will listen to your conscience. System. Searching for unauthorized persons. Investigated the nearby auto bag. Investigate. <laughs> 